Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show a new feature for Autodesk Inventor 2014, and that is to show constraint relationships. Since nothing beats just seeing how it works, let's switch to Inventor and have a look at this. Here, I have a Craftsman style coffee table that I've used as a sample many times before. And what I want to do is look at the constraint relationships between the top and the lower table assembly. Now in older versions of Inventor, I would have to go through and find the constraint in the browser and inspect them. However, with Inventor 2014, I can now choose the Show Relationships icon, select one of the components, and now I graphically see the constraints represented as glyphs. Highlighting each constraint glyph shows me what geometry the constraint is applying to. Right clicking on the glyph and I get the options that I would get to edit, suppress, modify, delete, and so on. So any editing option that I want can now be accessed via the right click menu on the screen instead of going back to the browser. As an added benefit, using the free move command, I can select a component and move it away, and I can see that I get sort of a rubber banding effect between the two components that the constraints are acting on. Right clicking and hitting OK will go ahead and commit that, and just like before, I can highlight each constraint showing the relationships and right clicking to edit. So that's a quick example of how that can be used. If I want to restore the constraints and put those parts back in their original positions, I can just update the assembly and the components will snap back. Once the editing is complete, I can choose the Hide All Relationships icon and turn off those glyphs and get my assembly back to its original state. But the Show Relationships tool can do more than just that for us. Here, I've got a sick constraint one that's inconsistent with the others. And while this one is pretty easy to find with the design doctor, what if this were more complicated, maybe not quite as easy to fish out? One of the other options that we can use is to show sick constraint relationships. If I select that, I'll get a glyph showing me that I have a sick constraint here, and I can begin to evaluate it, change it, and do what I need to do to fix it all on screen reducing the need to go ahead and hunt around either by rotating the model or looking around in the browser. So there it is, showing constraint relationships, a nice visual tool here to help you make your navigating through assemblies a little bit more easy. That's it for this video, and thanks for taking the time to watch.